What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here, coming at you with my hands-on and first impressions video of the Cricut Influence. Now the Influence is one of the latest budget devices from Cricut. In fact, at the moment, if you're porting in from another carrier, you can get this phone for free. And if you create a new line, you can get the phone for $39.99. And if you're currently with Cricut and you want to upgrade, you can also get the phone for $39.99. And finally, the MSRP for this phone is $109.99. So in general, this is certainly a very affordable option from Cricut. Now before I give you a tour of the hardware of the phone and go over the major specifications, let's take a closer look at what comes included in the box. Now here's the box the phone does come in. It is a pretty generic Cricut box. On the back side of the box, we do have some additional details about the device, but I'll be going over all of this throughout this video. But in the box, we get a 10 watt USB wall adapter. We get a USB-C cable for charging and data transfer. We get a SIM card removal tool. We get the Cricut Influence quick start guide. We get some terms and conditions. We also have a Cricut Influence safety information guide. And then finally, we have the SIM card. So we do get everything included in the box that we would need. Now here is the actual Cricut Influence itself. Now I've got to say, when I first ordered this phone, I was pretty skeptical, especially considering how inexpensive it is. I was expecting a phone that was not that great. And of course, this phone is nothing too special, but I've got to say so far, it has exceeded my expectations. I do know that these Cricut branded devices do especially sell really well at Cricut, mostly because they're giving us a lot of value here for what the phones are being offered at. I know that another phone from Cricut, the Cricut Ovation, has been one of the top sellers for the brand. So give this video a thumbs up if you want to see me cover the Cricut Ovation on the channel as well. Now with the Cricut Influence, we're getting a large display at 6.2 inches. The display itself is LCD at 720p. We're getting a PPI of 271 and a 19 by 9 aspect ratio. In general, I am very happy with the display considering that this is a very low-end device. Colors look good, things are crisp and clear, and most importantly, the display does get very bright. So in general, I don't have any complaints about it. Viewing angles are pretty decent as well. Now up top here, we do have a water drop notch, which does house the five megapixel front facing camera. And with this phone, we're getting 32 gigabytes of internal storage, and we also get micro SD card expansion. Now since getting the phone, I have installed a variety of my favorite applications. And between that, preloaded software, and then the actual system software, I have already used up 39% of the internal storage. So most likely, you probably will eventually want to get a micro SD card to expand the storage. But considering the price range that this phone does fall in, I feel like 32 gigs is pretty generous. Now there is no wireless charging with the Cricut Influence, but on the back of the phone, we do get a fingerprint sensor. So let's give that a try right now. Very fast, one more time. So yeah, nice, fast, responsive, and accurate fingerprint sensor. Now unfortunately, there is no face unlock with the phone, so if you do want to secure the device, you're most likely going to be using the fingerprint sensor. But again, thankfully it works perfectly fine, and I'm completely satisfied with it. Now on the back of the phone, we do have a dual camera setup with a 13 megapixel main camera and a 5 megapixel depth sensing camera for portrait mode. And this phone does support portrait mode for both the back and front cameras. But here's how things look on the camera app on the device. Then from here we can go over to portrait mode to get those nice blurred out backgrounds. We can also flip around to the front facing camera and do the same exact thing. And then we can also switch over to the regular photo mode as well. So I'm definitely looking forward to going outside and taking a bunch of different photos and videos with this device. And I will be featuring all those photo and video samples in the full review video. But so far, things do look pretty decent, especially considering how inexpensive and affordable this phone really is. Now, we do have a manual mode as well that does give us some additional options, like adjusting the white balance, ISO, and also the contrast. Now, internally, with the Cricut Influence, we're getting 3 gigabytes of RAM and the Qualcomm Snapdragon 460 processor. Now, the 460 is not necessarily that special of a processor from Qualcomm. However, if you've used the LG Stylo 5, Samsung Galaxy A11, or the brand new Samsung Galaxy A02s, then you're probably familiar with the predecessor processor to the 460, which is known as the Qualcomm Snapdragon 450. So the 460 pretty much builds upon the strengths of the 450, and I did run a Geekbench 5 benchmark test here with the phone, and here are the scores that I got. 
So these scores are not anything too special, but again, for a very budget-friendly phone, like the Cricut Influence, now what I recommend doing is running the Geekbench 5 benchmark test on your current phone, and then compare your scores to these scores. But in general, navigating around the phone has been nice and smooth. It's definitely decently responsive. So I'm completely satisfied with the processor and RAM that we are getting here with the phone. I suppose if we had gotten four gigs of RAM instead of three, that probably would have made things even better. But again, for what we're getting here and for what this phone goes for, I'm totally satisfied with it. Now, video recording with this device does max out at 1080p with both the front and rear cameras. And with this phone, we're getting a 3,300 milliamp hour internal battery. So not necessarily that big of a battery. So I'm definitely really curious to see how the battery life is going to play out here with the phone. And I'll definitely be learning a lot more about that as I continue to use the phone to prepare for the full review video. Now the software on here is Android 10. It pretty much is a stock variant of Android. It looks like some of the icons, they kind of changed up and definitely this camera app is not the stock Android camera app. But if you are familiar with using a stock Android phone, then just know that the experience with the Cricut Influence is definitely going to be very similar to what you're used to. Now, if you're curious about bloatware, these are the apps that I actually installed myself. Actually, not Pandora. That was pre-installed and Facebook was pre-installed as well. But these are the ones that I added. And then you can see that there's a bunch of different games and other random apps pre-installed. And some of these can be removed and other ones cannot. Looks like this one can. So... Not a huge deal. Thankfully, it doesn't take up too much of the storage either. I've definitely seen worse. And getting a lot of these random apps pre-installed is a compromise that you do have to kind of deal with when you get a phone in this price range from a carrier. But now that we've gone over the major specifications for the Cricut Influence, let's take a closer look at the hardware. Now, I would say the design of this phone is pretty generic. Nothing really special or different being brought to the table here. But at the same time, I remember using other phones in this price range several years ago, and the Cricut Influence is a big step up from those different devices. The design here is definitely focused on having the phone be very practical, and again, between having decent performance with the device and, in general, a pretty solid build, I feel like they did a pretty good job here with the design of the Cricut Influence. Now, the bottom bezel is definitely a little bit on the thicker side, but that is to be expected with a budget phone. Now, taking a look at the left side of the device, we just have the slot for the micro SD card and SIM card. Then on the right of the phone, we have the power button, volume down and volume up. Then up top here, we have the noise canceling microphone and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And then on the bottom of the phone, we have the microphone, USB-C port for charging and data transfer, and the speaker. And that's another awesome thing to see with the Cricut Influence is that we are getting USB-C because I know with a lot of these lower end devices, a decent amount of them still have micro USB so that they're able to save money. And then taking a look at the back of the phone, we have the dual camera setup, we have the flash, fingerprint sensor, and then the Cricut logo. And again, that's another thing. I'm very thankful that we are getting a fingerprint sensor with this phone, considering how affordable this phone is. But I hope you enjoyed this hands-on and first impressions video with the Cricut Influence. Definitely let me know what other videos you want to see about this phone and what other devices we should compare this to. There's definitely going to be a Galaxy A11 comparison on the way, and I probably will end up getting the Cricut Ovation as well, as I'm really curious to see how this phone and that phone compare. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up and make sure to sub, and I will see you in the next one.